Elizabeth from Gabriel Family Adventures and today I'm going to share a quick review for you all of the Newport Coast Villas that are owned by Marriott in Newport, California. We stayed there for three nights with our friends who have a timeshare through the Marriott and we loved our experience so I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we booked, what we thought of the resort as a whole as well as our experience with the room. So here we go. All right, so if you're traveling to Newport, which you should because the weather is beautiful, the people are beautiful, there's tons to do, uh, there's shopping, there's good food, there's the beach, you can go surfing, you can go swimming. It's an incredible place. It's a little slice of paradise. And if you're looking for a place to stay, the Marriott Newport, Newport Coast Villas are a great option for you. They are a timeshare program, ownership program, program place, but you can also rent them privately if you want. You can rent them through different owners. You can also go onto Marriott's website and book it yourself. So we wanted to go and meet up with some friends of ours. And so we booked just on the website. It was about $350 a night. And we, when we got there at check-in, they give you a welcome drink and the lobby is beautiful. The grounds are enormous. There's all these different buildings, different sections, so it's kind of easy to get lost. And you know, there's some places where it might be easier to drive than to walk to. So do keep that in mind if you have limited mobility. It is a huge resort. But the benefit of being a huge resort is that they have tons of amenities. They have basketball courts, they have volleyball courts, they have tennis courts, swimming pools, they have it all. So if you're looking for a place that you wanna spend a lot of time on the resort itself, this is a wonderful location for you. It kind of felt like we were on vacation, you know, in Mexico or Hawaii or something like that, but we happened to just be in Southern California. So we really enjoyed that aspect of it. And we loved that the grounds were just walking around. There was a lot for our kids to do. Our kids were four and six. And so, you know, there were different lawn games for them to play. We could do s'mores, we could grill. Um, they had a bunch of barbecue grills so you can cook your dinner there. And and so it felt like a place that was really family friendly. Now let's <laughs> check out the rooms. So this might be my favorite part of the Newport Coast Villas because the rooms were enormous. We had a two bedroom villa and it was more than enough space for my family of four. And even when we had all of our friends, all eight of us in the room together cooking dinner and hanging out, there was plenty of space for the kids to play and for us to be comfortable. The beds were soft, the linens were comfortable, and overall I was really impressed with the rooms themselves. Something that we enjoyed doing at the Newport Coast Villas was that they had this cute little bus that would take you from the lobby down to Crystal Cove State Park. And not only then do you have access to the beach and the water and it's incredibly beautiful, so you could spend a day there just hanging at the beach, but that's also the location of the Beachcomber restaurant, which is excellent. The food is wonderful, the cocktails are delicious, the kids menu, they were fully satisfied with their dinner and their dessert, and it was a really fun place to go. So we all you know, got on the bus and went down and had a wonderful dinner and the, the kids played in the water after dinner. My son took off all of his clothes and we had a great time. So if you want to have that beach access because the villas are across the street and up a hill a little bit across the highway from the ocean, you have access from the hotel. You don't have to get into your car. And I thought that was a nice perk and very convenient. Something that I was a little disappointed by, probably the only thing I was disappointed by at the Newport Villas was that I thought the pool chairs were pretty disappointing. They were kind of that cheap plastic material that you would kind of see at a cheaper hotel, kind of a lower budget place. And you know, for $350 a night, I just assumed that the, beach, the uh, pool chairs would be nicer and more comfortable. And I know that's not that big of a deal, but you know, if you're hanging at the pool for a few hours, you do want a comfortable chair. And so I think that's something that they should pay to upgrade in the near future. 
So just a little word of warning about that. We did enjoy the food and drinks that we ordered while we were at the pool. We were at the pool a couple of times and at night they have kind of a little happy hour special on some of the cocktails. And so we did enjoy all of the service that we had while we were, while we were at the Newport Coast Villas. So I do recommend the food and the drinks. It was a lot of fun and I it did feel like I was, you know, at a resort somewhere overseas. And so that was really fun to feel like we had this little escape but yet we were still in California, so that was kind of funny. Overall, I do recommend the Newport Coast Villas. If I'm back in Southern California sometime soon, I will probably rent there again because I did really enjoy how spacious the rooms were and how much fun there is to be had on the resort for the kids. There's so much to do and the views are out of this world. So I am happy that we stayed there and I will be staying there again in the future. If you have any questions about the resort or any follow-up comments, if you've been there yourself, please feel free to comment below and subscribe to this channel for more hotel reviews and adventures in the future. Thank you so much and I'll see you later.